where you have a white side of the chessboard and you have a black side of the chessboard. When people sit down to play chess, because I'm not talking about hating white people. I am talking about analyzing the behavior, but I'm not talking about hating them. I'm not talking about destroying white people. But I am talking about understanding this so-called game of chess. Now, Good evening and welcome to For the People. History tells us that before the African's encounter with the European, the African did not need food stamps, did not have broken homes, did not need welfare, did not need care packages from Europe, did not have single parent families, did not hate black skin, did not worship a white image of God. No, these problems did not occur at the beginning of the African encounter with the European, but they began with the advent of white racism or white supremacy behavior. But while much scholarly attention has been focused on the victims of white supremacy behavior, there has been almost no serious scholarly examination of the white psyche that gave birth to white supremacy behavior. Dr. Francis Cress Welsing is a Washington, D.C.-based psychiatrist who has been studying white supremacy behavior for more than 20 years. As you look at the economic, political, and cultural condition of African Americans and Africans around the world, what do you see as the primary, as the primary obstacle blocking our development? Well, I would label that obstacle with one word, racism, or the phrase white supremacy. That I believe that we need to understand racism in quite a different way. We need to understand white supremacy as we would understand a science. And if we investigate that dynamic, not only locally, nationally, globally speaking, mm -hmm that we will be able to have a greater insight into, you know, what we call, what we refer to as poverty or all the problems of the so-called inner city, teenage pregnancy, you name it, failure in school, unemployment. If we understand racism, white supremacy at another level, we will be able to, I maintain, solve these problems. How do you define white supremacy or racism? Well, I understand racism, well, let me just drop back. Okay. Uh, in the late 1960s, I wrote a paper on racism. The paper was really written for fellow colleagues in psychiatry because we were looking at racism. If you remember, 20 years ago, people were having black caucuses and mm -hmm. looking at the issue of racism um, during the civil rights era. And so I put down my thoughts about racism and I entitled the paper that I wrote, The Crest Theory of Color Confrontation and Racism, in parenthesis, White Supremacy. Crest is my maiden name. Uh, and so I entitled the paper that. But basically, I looked at racism as a behavioral dynamic that came about because the white population in the world is a tiny minority population. It is also a genetic recessive population in terms of skin coloration. And so I looked at racism as behavior that evolved when this minority population that was genetic recessive found itself in a world on a planet in which the vast majority of the people, black, brown, red, and yellow, are not only the numerical majority, but they are genetically dominant in terms of skin coloration and could potentially cause white genetic annihilation. And so if the white population consciously or subconsciously desired to survive genetically, speaking, do you see, mm -hmm. and not be, well, I think sometimes they use the terms mongrelization mm -hmm. of the races, but genetic annihilation is the terminology that I use, then that, that would require that the white population hold in oppression all of the non-white people on the planet, black, brown, red, and yellow people. Now, of all of the non-white people, Black people have the greatest genetic potential to cause white genetic annihilation. And so uh, when we were children, we learned, if you're black, stay back, brown, stick around, yellow, mellow, white, right. Now, those are the gradations of the genetic production of this black pigment melanin. Mm -hmm. And so the